James Spencer, you are the winner of the most fanatical fanatic of Jordan Racing fans. How did this come about? Well, uh, I spent a lot of time on the Jordan 23 website, and at, while I was on there, I noticed the contest. And the first thing I said, that's me. That's the first thing I said. And I have a collection. I've been following the sport for almost 10 years. So I've been a big fan of Aaron's forever. And uh, I have a collection that impressed them. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, tell, I mean, I heard a little bit about the collection and one of the things, well, I guess in the contest you had to do a little essay about why you deserve to come to this race. You got a full boat ride to come to the race was the prize? Yes, it was. Uh, actually, full trip out here with me and a friend, and uh, I had to write a little essay, but that was kind of easy when it was coming from the heart. So. Now, they told me that you had uh, a set of signed leathers, of Aaron's leathers. How did you come about that? Because I've been trying to get a pair, and I don't have a pair, man. Well, uh, they call me the scavenger, my buddies, when I go to races, and I'm always looking, and the one item I could never get was a pair of Aaron's leathers. Well, I actually found one night there was a charity auction for something I believed in, and I made sure I won. <laughs> Holy cow. So do you actually, have you ever put them on? No, I wouldn't admit to it either way, but I haven't tried them on. <laughs> Now, do you, you ride, I take it? Yes, I do. do you, what do you ride? Uh, well, I have a Ducati 749S, I have a Yamaha R6, and a Honda CBR 4 i I didn't hear a Suzuki in that list. Well, unfortunately, my Suzuki was taken from me against my will, but... I, oh, yeah. Say no more. Say no more. I understand. Well, cool beans. Well, congratulations. How was it? Uh, describe your experience in being the winner of the most fanatical fanatic. Well, the experience just really blew me away. Uh, number one, I got to have an on-track experience with Jason Premore. That was exhilarating. You did the two-up ride. You did the two-up ride. Did the two-up ride, and that was amazing. But the thing I learned most was the camaraderie and what goes on behind the scenes. It was just amazing. It, it, I'm speechless. <laughs> Did they make you shag any tires or, you know, bust out, help load the truck or anything like that? Well, actually, I had to do a little pit work, you know, here and there, you know. Didn't give Aaron too much advice, you know. Yeah, I think he can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't, like, uh, adjust his shock here? Try a little more preload. No, no, I didn't, but, you know. He did, he made the podium, so. <laughs> Next year. Next year. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. No problem.